Hi, I wanted to give you a few more tips on using the EPCC library search options as well as Google Scholar. I think taking the time to go through this will save you a lot of search time and open up a lot of options for you. So I'm going to start at the EPCC library homepage and remember you can get to there by going to epcc.edu, clicking on current students or mousing over it and selecting libraries. When you get there, the main search you'll see is the EPCC library search with the search box right there. This will search everything we have in all of our libraries as well as on the databases. Notice that you can choose keyword. That's the best thing to start with for a general search, but you can also select title and author. And these are great for searching when you find something on the web that doesn't have the full article. And we'll come back and look at that later. So I decided to do a um, example using comic book heroes. So I could enter that, click search, and here's what I come up with. Um, this gives me nice search results. Notice I have over 100,000 of them, so that's a great start. Um, all of these end up being books, which is always listed. The type is under here. Remember to avoid book reviews. Those are someone else talking about the book. You want to be able to read it yourself. Um, there will also be academic journals, of course, ebooks, um, videos, recordings, things like that. So we'll notice a few, look at a few of more, those later. Of course, we have the link to the title. So this looks like an interesting um, book, comic book crime, truth, justice, and the American way. We can click on that. We'll take a look on the next page here. But also notice it gives us the subjects. So what does this book deal with? History and criticism, crime and literature, social values, all those kinds of things. And then also notice that we can limit it to what EPCC has, scholarly journals, the catalog only. We're going to come back and look at scholarly journals in a moment, but when you're doing this you may want to make sure and go ahead and click that and it'll add those in. So when we take a look at this book, here's what we get. Of course there's the author and you might want to click on the author, see if there's any other works by this author on the same subject. Um, you may have a few works by the same author, especially if there's someone who's written a lot in the field, so they're a focused exer expert on that. But also then again, remember you want variety. Um, subjects, of course, if you want to refine more, we can click on any of these and it'll take us to what do we have in the catalog on these specific subjects. And then of course, read the abstract or summary some just to give you a, a look at whether or not you want to get this book or this source. And of course this explores uh, representations that show comic books as historically important, cultural medium, a number of other things. And then the call numbers here. So if you want to check it out, it'll probably be downstairs. If you're not sure where to find it or how to find it, don't worry. That's what the librarians are there for and they are happy to help. When you find a book, if you find a physical book and you get you go to get it, look at the books around it because they're all grouped by subject. So you may find some other ones that are helpful. Just pick out a few, check out their table of contents. And again, remember, you don't always have to read the whole book. So you may be finding things that are specific for what you're searching for. Um, now, when I click, well, I clicked initially, I was going to do history and criticism. And I was going to say, I get this. But here's what happened. Um, I clicked on it and I worked for like 20 minutes and couldn't find anything. I couldn't make it work. And this is applied to research. So when you come up with nothing like I did, make sure you go back and start down a different track. So once I decided that wasn't going to work and I couldn't make it work, I went ahead and clicked on social values and literature. And here's what I got. Um, so much better because it really fits in with, again, I'm not just doing a report just what's up with comic books, but I have to find something to make an argument. So um, this gives me a number of things. Just looking at these two right here, icons of comic books from Ca Captain America to Wonder Woman. Um, here's the same one we looked at a little bit. Um, so it's going to give me a lot more options. Um, so point is, don't give up there. Now, um, this gave me all books because I had not clicked on scholarly journals. So I can go through here and there are many books in here that I might find useful, but then I want to make sure I look for those scholarly journals too. And when I do that, um, 
what I did was I came up with a lot more things. Um, well, these are ebooks. So what I did was I deleted the stuff from the search box. So when I go back and look here, um, oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't show, but it had like DE this and that. And I went ahead and got rid of that, just the basics, clicked on scholarly journals, and then I clicked on search. And this is what it gave me. I, it brought them all up, but if I want to narrow it, I can just click on that. Say I've looked through books, ebooks, or all the results. And I'm like, well, probably need some scholarly journals. So I click on that, and that focuses. So again, here it tells us it's a scholarly journal. Here, there's a number of, you can see this is getting a little more intellectual. Making the Invisible vis Visible, Lesbian Romance, Comics for Women, Zeraldo's A Truma de Pere, um, representations of race in Brazilian children's comics. I apologize to Portuguese if I murdered that. What manner of man is he? Humor and masculine identity in Captain Marvel's World War II adventures. So I'm going to check this one out. Um, branding gender and comics. So this just gets us what academic journals do is gets us even more specific because even to talk about heroes or even to talk about gender or anything like that in comic books is really huge so it'll get us even more specific so let's take a look at this article when you go to an article very often they'll be in PDF and that's great if you have options select the PDF option um, you may only have the choice of HTML and that is fine too make sure and read the description the abstract to see do I want to check this out or not and of course we have subject terms here again which we could click on but also just helps us kind of make sure um, what we're looking at fits in where we're going with this and this gives us the publication information this this page has everything you're going to need to cite it except for if you have a PDF the page numbers but that'll go in your text when you use the quote so we'll see that in the article later we're going to come back and look at find similar results and this is a great thing to do but for now let's move on and actually just look at the PDF full text here's what we get whenever we click on this the first thing to remember is ways to save and use this article over here on the right you can save it to Google Drive you can print it you can email it I forget what the rest of these are but when you mouse over it'll pop up and tell you and there's also a thing to cite it use that but don't forget to check your citation in your book or in a good source to make sure that that is correct um, we can scroll down and read this article and it will have the page numbers things like that over here if it's from a since these are from a journal they're from a specific volume and issue and this gives us other um, articles in that um, issue sometimes journals do themed issues so you might find one where their articles are about that specific theme so give it a glance because those are going to be by different people and those will constitute different sources for you so this is a great way to find some um, academic sources um, I, what I did now is I went back to the original thing and I'm going to check out the similar results so when I click on that it's going to look for you know whatever it looks for in terms of its algorithm um, and it'll come with that but the other thing I can do is I can also go back and do an advanced search and when you scroll up to the top you can do search and just click on advanced search and there I'm going to delete all this stuff here because that's really the description of that book I'm going to go ahead and put in my search terms comic books and masculinity and then I'm going to do full text and scholarly um, scholarly or peer-reviewed journals and that gives me some more sources that really help me focus so again I've gone from just comic books to looking at masculinity or gender or whatever it is I find so doing the search is actually often part of narrowing your topic and figuring out what you want to look at and <clears throat> we can see that there are I mean all three of these are things that I might decide I want to use so again academic journals that kind of thing it is about searching and researching um, next I'm going to show you some tips with Google Scholar so Google Scholar scholar.google.com take you there and I decided you know I went through and found things on comic books and masculinity so I'm going to do the same search on Google Scholar 
Um, most of these things are pretty straightforward. If you're doing anything that involves time, you can select from here or click on custom range and it'll open it up to put the dates, since, before and after, things like that. Um, you can narrow any of this. This does say include citations. Um, this one here is um, on, um, wait, wait, this one, here we go. If there's a PDF, you're going to click on that. The full thing is there. This one, super black, macho, one bad, mother ba black superhero masculinity in the 1970s. Mainstream comic books might be a great thing to look at if I'm going to go with masculinity and comic books um, or even focus it more on race and ethnicity. But a lot of times, especially when you have include citations, you may find something like this. And when we click on this, what we're going to find is it doesn't give us the actual article. It says, hey, do you want to subscribe? No, 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 no. Don't need to pay any money. It does give us, of course, the title, the author. This is the journal it's from, African American Review. It gives us the volume, the number, the year, the pages it's on. We could go to Indiana State University, but we're still not going to find it there. Here's another place it's giving us topics. So again, if you're working on focusing your um, research, always look at those because those give you more specific ideas. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this information and I'm going to go back to the college search engine to see if we have this in our databases. Um, often if you're on campus, it may give you, on this previous page, it may give you a link that says, um, you know, where it's over here, it may say um, EPC databases, things like that, and you can click on it and it'll take you straight there. But if you're at home, it may take you to a page like this. So I'm going to take, I think, this title. So I took the title, went back to the college search engine, just put it in there, and there's where I told it title. So let's search and see what we come up with. We are so lucky because um, it came up with this article. We do have it. Boom, I click on it, and I'm good to go. Now, something I forgot to tell you, if you are using the databases from home, it may ask you to log in, and it just asks you very clearly if you've already done this. It's a no-brainer. It says your name. Put in your name as it is on your registration document and your student ID number, and it'll let you in. So here we can just click on the full text. We'll be back to what we looked at before with the journal articles. We can print it, email it, cite it, read it, those kinds of things, decide if we want to use it. Now, if I hadn't found this and I was lucky I found it the first time, I might do one more thing. Um, I might go up at the top of the, the search page or the library page. There's a link to publications. And I might actually just go and search for this publication. This is the African American Review. So I could search, click on publications, search for African American Review, and then I would be looking for, you know, the 1999 volume 33 issue one and see if we have it. We don't always have those things, but it's one more way to find something. So this is giving you a basic overview of kind of different ways to use um, the library search engine, different things you can find there, but also ways to use Google Scholar. Now you can use the web and I have no problem with that, but it does require you to do more of the evaluation of your source. So use it as needed, but make sure to be very thoughtful about that. Who is writing this? What's their experience or their expertise? Um, are they fitting for a college level research paper? Just think about, is this something that you would use to make a case to any of your teachers, not just me? Um, at the same time, while the library search and Google Scholar will help you kind of come up with those better college level sources, it's also no guarantee. So you have to make sure when you look at that, that you very carefully consider those things. And when you, in books, of course, they'll often tell who wrote something, um, you know, on the inside or the outside, that kind of thing. With, um, with articles, you'll often find that at the very top, or like here it's not at the top, but at the bottom of the article it'll tell us this is Brian Krim Crimmins, and so it'll often say who this person is, where they um, work or where they went got their education, what their field of expertise is. And that's a good thing and an important thing to have when you write because um, putting that credibility in your pre-writings and then also in your paper is an important, helpful thing. So good luck with your research.